here's a very interesting update on the city park saga i'm of course referring to the very sad city park incident where a young 26 year old man bernard chege was shot at by police together with his uh, female companion much older janet wangui was somebody's wife okay and of course janet wangui uh, died yeah, passed on as a result of uh, the shooting from the police the latest is that uh, Bernard Chege has been moved out of uh, Avenue Hospital. This is the place where he was admitted uh, for treatment and he was complaining of police harassment. Indeed, when he was there, he was being moved from one ward to the other, yeah, in an effort to elude the police who had come to the hospital. And shockingly, he said that the police were treating him as a suspect. Now, you know, this is hilarious. A suspect to what? You know? Were they treating him as a suspect to his own shooting? <laughs> Where he received very serious injuries that caused him to be admitted to hospital? Hey, this king of ours. Yeah, so that's, uh, that's what we, we know up to now. However, there are new developments. The man has been moved away to a secret location. Yeah, where he can stay away from the police. But even more shocking is that the young man has released details of uh, what unfolded. And uh, surprise, surprise, the young man spent the whole night with uh, Janet Wangui. Yeah, they hooked up uh, the previous night, yeah, before the shooting on Sunday morning, on Saturday night, at about 7 p.m. And they were chewing Mira, okay, which is not a crime. Yeah, however, has, however, that has uh, various uh, wide-ranging implications. Yeah, and uh, we shall look into that very shortly, immediately after the short upcoming commercial break. We shall also examine a very devastating, explosive statement the young man has made <laughs> about his relationship uh, with this married woman. Yeah, don't go away. Welcome back. These are the chain of events the night before the shooting of Bernard Chege and Janet Wangui. According to Chege, Janet Wangui's vehicle had broken down and that's why they were using uh, Bernard Chege's vehicle, actually um, his mother's vehicle. So they went and uh, bought Mira yeah, together and they started chewing the stuff together. Yeah. Uh, while uh, supposedly discussing various things. We all know that uh, the two were very close. Sometime during the long night, yeah, going into the early morning hours of Sunday, somebody decided to fuel their car so that they give that person a lift to Naivasha. And the two went to Naivasha to get that other unnamed person. And uh, they took the opportunity to have some quality time in Naivasha. And took selfies and uh, did various things, yeah, before heading back to Nairobi. Now, according to Chege, Wangui said she wanted to get back home because she wanted to release her maid. Now, uh, the late Wangui has a two year old child. Now, when a child is that young, the child will have various issues, yeah, they'll need the parent the whole night, yeah, and in case the parent is absent, uh, a special maid 
you know, special in the sense that uh, they'd have to be close to the child, very well known to the child. Somebody who the child would be comfortable with would be left to the child the whole night. But as fate would have it, they decided to finish off their long rendezvous at City Park. And that is where all hell broke loose, yeah, as we already know. Now, the very explosive uh, revelation by Bernard Chege is the fact that uh, Janet Wongui's youngest child, this two-year-old, is suspected to be his biological child. Yeah, by who? By the husband of Janet Wongui. What? Now, the press have approached uh, Bwana George Kirubi, who is the husband of the deceased, uh, with this suggestion. And Bwana George Kirubi's response? No comment. Yeah, let the police uh, come up with whatever they need to come up with. Yeah, I'm not going to comment on that issue. Now, <laughs> the, 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 the thing which just knocks me over here, yeah, is the fact that Bernard Chege, what he's saying, is that this suspicion that that child who George Kirubi is looking after, yeah, Janet Wangui's child, is not George Kirubi's biological child, but uh, Bernard Chege's child, yeah, that suspicion is what is causing his harassment by the police. That's what Bernard Chege is saying. And this harassment by police includes even the shooting incident. This is what Bernard Chege is saying. Wah, 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 wah. I need to drink some water to digest that. Now, let's uh, remain focused. Yeah, let's get a few facts right. Okay? The relationship between Bernard Chege and Janet Wangui was improper. Yeah, that one, there's no secret about that. And that is obvious. No one would expect a married woman to spend the whole night away from home with a young man, yeah? Now, whether this rendezvous was sexual or non-sexual is not the issue here. You know, there are many Kenyans who believe that as long as there's no sex, a wife has not been unfaithful. I disagree, yeah? If a spouse is having a very close relationship with somebody else, even if it is still non-sexual, that is wrong. That is being unfaithful. Again, if we, we can be totally honest and realistic, it is very unlikely, extremely unlikely, highly unlikely, that such a relationship will not involve sex. That is a fact. Now, uh, some Kenyans will know this, others will not. The chewing of mirror by ladies, yeah? Now, this is a bit embarrassing, yeah? But uh, we have to say it, yeah? There are very many ladies I know, yeah, who chew mira in order to get sexually aroused, sexually excited. That is a fact. The other point to take note of is that uh, mira is a drug, yeah. It has an effect on your body. It has an effect on your brain. Indeed, this is one of the reasons why it has been banned in the UK. And in many countries. Now, one of the big dangers of drinking alcohol, yeah, or when you're intoxicated, is the fact that it affects your judgment. We all know that. You can end up in a life-threatening situation when you're under the influence of alcohol. And how you react will be different from how you'd have reacted were you stone sober. And that is how alcohol can cost you your life. Now, these are people who had been chewing mirror the whole night, so now they're at City Park, and a policeman knocks on the windows of the car. Their reaction definitely will be different. And indeed, Bernard Chege shares uh, exactly what happened at City Park. He says uh, somebody knocked on the window of the car, and he was going to roll down the window, except that he saw a gun. And he panicked, and he attempted to drive away quickly. Yeah, the mirror affected his judgment. While it is true that it is possible to get away, yeah, from people shooting at you while you're driving in a car, it's possible. However, it is a very highly dangerous maneuver, okay? It's not as easy as it's portrayed to us in movies. Bullets can very easily penetrate a car, 
Yeah, that is a fact. Now, all this information gives us some very interesting new facts on this case. Fact number one, this relationship has been going on for a very long time. Indeed, the relationship has been going on for more than two years. How do we know that? The age of this young child suspected to belong to Bernard Chege. Fact number two, everything that is coming out, everything that we already know, points to the fact that there was a sexual relationship between the two. The only way there would have been no sexual relationship, despite all uh, that we know, is if there was something biologically wrong with Bernard Chege or with Janet Wangui. Yeah. However, if they were normal human beings, it is highly unlikely that uh, there was no sexual relationship. Now, I was once in a church meeting of elders where this uh, very wise uh, woman yeah, brought out a very interesting point that will illustrate what I'm saying here. Now, the case was involving two young people, yeah, a girl and a boy in the church, who were spending a lot of time together alone. And they were denying before the elders of the church that uh, no sex had uh, taken place. Now, there was a lot of argument back and forth about this point until this old woman introduced or injected some wisdom into that discussion that completely ended that debate. And she asked the following question. She asked, is it possible for a cat to spend the whole night or even just a few hours with a rat dangling before it without that cat sinking its paws and its teeth into that rat? Is that possible? The meeting burst out into laughter, yeah, but uh, the point sank home. That was the end of that story. After that, nobody at that meeting introduced the statement that it is possible there was no sexual relationship. Nobody. That was a wise woman. <laughs> and I'm using her wisdom here. But all this information introduces something even more... <laughs> explosive and it is this it now seems that uh, the reason why the police were so desperate looking for Bernard Chege's uh, DNA has nothing to do with him being a suspect yeah what does it have to do with it has to do with that small two-year-old child my strong suspicion is that the DNA yeah, the purpose of that DNA is for something called a paternity test. A paternity test to tell somebody very conclusively who the father of that young child is. Wah, 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 wah. Aye. Now that would raise a number of other very interesting questions related to this case. But having said all that, yeah, having said all those things, there's one very important fact we must bear in mind. Yeah? Having a sexual relationship with a married woman, adultery, as bad as it is, as immoral as it is, is not a criminal offense. It is not rape. Yeah? It's consensual sex between two adults. And so... The law is on the side of Bernard Chege. He should not be harassed. He should not be shot at. Nothing should happen to him. After all, it takes two to tango. Now having said that, here's some advice for all of us. If you're a man and you ever discovered that your wife is having an affair with another man, rush very quickly and get a wise third party involved. No matter how embarrassing it is, to both parties, do that quickly, like yesterday. Okay? And then after doing that, try and stay very far away from your wife. Do not, under any circumstances, have a discussion about that issue without a third party present. Why am I saying all this? Because something called jealousy is deadly. Jealousy causes a human being 
to be completely irrational. Okay? Indeed, jealousy causes a, a man to go mad, insane. Yeah, can I call it, call it temporary insanity? Yeah. We have heard of all those cases in Kenya. Yeah, very common. Where somebody with access to firearms, an administration policeman mostly, yeah, comes home, shoots his wife dead, shoots the children, and then shoots himself dead. That man was temporarily, temporarily insane. Folks, the emotion of jealousy is not something to play around with. Eh? <laughs> it is not something to toy around with. Never ever. Divorce is very bad, but it is better you separate. Your wife moves out or you move out of the house and completely separate and at least save a life and save yourself from either death or spending the rest of your life behind bars. That's really what it is. And the big mistake many women make, many times it's fatal, is to assume that jealousy is a small thing. They assume, after all, my husband has many women. Yeah, so I did this because uh, he's also unfaithful. So what's the big deal? I don't understand his overreacting. Yeah, because after all, he sleeps with those malayas of his. So me, I've just slept with one man. What's the problem? Oh, my dear lady, my dear Kenyan woman, that is a blunder. That is a mistake that could very easily cost you your life. I have heard women say, Ah, Brian, Brian is a softy. Oh, yeah, he has never even slapped me in, during our marriage. Yeah. So if he discovers I'm having an affair, ah, he's a cool guy. He'll not do something crazy. Oh, think again. I urge you one last time. Jealousy is not an emotion to play around with. When somebody is jealous, a man is jealous, that man can be deadly. Save your life. Save the future of your children. And be wise. Until next time, this is Chris Omekwicha.